My next guest tonight is an Emmy award-winning actor and comedian you know from The Daily Show, Children's Hospitals, and Ballers. He now stars in the new CBS sitcom, The Unicorn. Please welcome our friend, Rob Cordry. <laughs> How are you? Mi compadre, mi muchacho. Ah, si, si, si. Mi amigo, si. Mi, my brother. Come on How on. are you? I'm, That's all I'm, my Spanish. I know no okay, more Spanish. I don't know. I, I know. Si, si. I got an important question for you. And Go I'm ahead. Sure, and I'm sure this is something that tortures you on a certain level, and I hope if it's not too sensitive of a subject for you. You're from Boston, and yet I never see you in those Boston movies ah. where, like, everyone talks about, like, yeah, getting a Boston accent was so yeah. hard and everything, but you're from Boston. Yeah. Why aren't you in those... Movies. Uh, well, the answer to your first question is, yeah, it kind of tortures me a little bit. Thank you. Um, I'm glad I uh, could be here yeah. to... I don't know. I don't know. Dredge up these bad feelings. If you, got, if you have a Boston movie in the hopper, let's... Yeah, uh, sure. I'm in. There's all, everybody loves a Boston movie. You know what I do? Do you have an audition for a Boston movie? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Okay, let's see what you got. All right. Do I need to do anything? Do I need to set up the scene or anything? Uh, I might. You might okay. have to. Um, we'll see. Okay. Uh, um, uh, uh, open on Rob Corddry as hey, Boston guy. Stevie. Stevie. Because in Boston, you're always your diminutive. You're like, I'm Bobby. Stevie, did you hear about Maki? Did you hear about Maki DeLuca? Dude, I saw him at Weymouth House of Pizza. He, he lost his trigger finger. Yeah, so he can't be a cop no more. Yeah, luckily, I heard he got a gig uh, uh, being a roadie for the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. So he landed on his feet irregardless. Only two, only two jobs in Boston. There's, there's two, only, two there's jobs. There's only two, there's two, only jobs. two industries. Cop. Uh, Roadie for the Mighty Mighty Boston, the Mighty 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 Boston. Boston. Towns. Yes. Do you ever hang out with the guys who do get the Boston movies? Like your, 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 your Damons, your Afflecks, your Wahlbergs? Um, well, you know, Mark Wahlberg produces Ballers. I did right? not know that. I did not he know does. that. He, I did not he's know a producer on Ballers. But I met him years ago on Pain and Gain. Uh, and he was playing a, a weightlifter. So he was yeah. bulking up. And the morning I, I met him, he was uh, he's really huge. And I was like, God, you're huge, man. And he was like, yeah. Bobby, they got me bulking up. Like, I was like, wow. He goes, yeah, but I have, to, I have to eat all the time. I was like, well, that's awesome. Like, it's better than not being able to eat, right? And he's like, no, it's terrible. It's horrible. Like, I hate it. I hate eating now. I hate everything about eating. And then all of a sudden, if, as if on cue, a PA uh, comes over with a, like a catering tray full of shrimp cocktail. And he's like, Oh, God, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, help me eat these shrimps, will ya? I'm like, no, nah, man. He's like, eat the shrimps, Bobby. <laughs> eat the sh Come on, eat the shrimps. And, uh, you know, it's like 6.30 in the morning. Sure. <laughs> I don't have shrimp before 10. That's a rule. That's a rule. <laughs> Damn it. I, we haven't gotten to the damn show yet. Oh, I'm on a show, yeah. You're on a show called The Unicorn here on CBS. On, see, we're family again. Once again, we are again. family. Yeah. I see you in the commissary. Yeah. Yeah, see you in the commissary. Yeah. So you, you, you it's about, uh, Walton Goggins plays this, uh, this mm -hmm. man. He's a, he's a widower who now is entering the dating scene That's again. Right. And uh, you're, you're a buddy of his. Have you, what, what is your, I say best or worst date you can... I have, Imagine. Well, this might be the best real story, and, real and story. worst. Uh, best like, and worst. Okay. Yeah, I, it's been a long time. Um, I, 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 uh, so How I long was, have you been married? Seventeen years. Yeah, it's been a long time. It should be. <laughs> should be a long time. <laughs> I had to, they weren't gonna clap. We'll for hit that. the button. We'll hit the button. <sighs> anyway, um, so uh, I was, uh, I was, uh, had a date scheduled with this beautiful woman for Saturday, and it was Friday night, and we ran into each other, right? So, so you're going out Saturday, you just ran into each other. Ran into each other. So we ditched our friends and hung out together all night. And we, we went back to her place, me and this uh, uh, woman. And uh, it was fairly chaste. Like, you know, I, I, uh, 
I, uh, well, forget it. Well, you forget it. You know, it's not, you don't need to know it's, what happened. No, it, don't worry about it's it. It's CBS. CBS. Um, uh, we ended up falling asleep on her futon. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, and I woke up a couple hours later and I had drooled all over her face. It's <laughs> like, so I never not drooling when I'm sleeping. I, I drooling all over her face. And there's no way, uh, no way out of this. Like, I had pinned her you leg down. did wake her up or anything? I did wake her up. Of course the I... The drooling didn't The lady's her... got drool on her face, Stephen. <laughs> I'm guessing this did not lead to a second date. I woke her up, and, uh, and I said, hey, this is, uh, this is funny. Um, <laughs> I, may, I, may, I may have definitely drooled on your face. And she's like, oh, my God, no big deal. No, this is fine. Oh, my God, don't, please, don't worry about it. Just don't stress out. And she got up to go to the bathroom to wipe my saliva off of her face, took one step and collapsed in a heap because I had been sleeping on her leg and it was asleep. <laughs> so... The answer to your question uh, was, uh, yes, we did have our date the next night, and, and then I married her. Well, this is Sandy. This is Sandy. That's this a keeper. Is Sandy. That's yeah. a keeper. The Unicorn airs Thursday nights at 8.30 on CBS. Rob Kadri, everybody. We'll be right back.